Right, the motion fails. Go ahead. 53. Uh, yeah. 53.26. 53.26. 53.30. 53.30. Second motion I have in mind is that, uh, again, if we're going to be a, a community of people, we need to know how to contact each other. I think it would be very useful if each of us had an electronic copy of who the membership is in the Central Committee, what the email addresses are, what uh, district or what precinct we're covering, what the website is, so that we can easily communicate with you. That has never been provided to me. And I, I'd, I'd like to request the chair make an electronic register of everybody and, make, and send that as an email to everybody. So we'll have that so we can easily communicate with each other. Is there a second for that? Hold on. Hold on. Is there a second? I'll second. And then discussion. So the, the thing that I would say is um, the only uh, complicating factor is that the membership is not static throughout the year. So for example, Mark and I today went through our list and identified some folks who were no longer on the committee, some folks who were newly joining the committee. We had 19 precinct uh, captains join tonight. So the only complicating factor would be keeping that well, that, I think that's but a small matter. It's not impossible. That's the only problem. Yes? If someone wants to send something to the party, it can go through Kurt and it goes out that way. There's no reason for everyone to have everybody's 800 email. But, but I, if you I, need I, information, I, all you have to do is ask Kurt. Right. The question is, who are we as a party? Who are we as a community? And the idea that we're going to have to go through another person before we can talk to other people and before we know how to contact other people, it's really kind of silly. I think that if we were, we are an interconnected community of people, and that's how we're going to be a strong organization if we are a community of people that work together. And I think that's the idea of being able to communicate is pretty solid, so I, I can't agree with what you're saying. You know, it's a public record. So, Mike, if you want to cut in the electronic, electronic copy, we'll give you an electronic right, that's copy. Not, that, that's not the point. I have a motion on the floor. I hope it's supported. All right. Okay. I have a motion. There's, there's probably like 125 here. I'm not sure how big the membership is, but I'd like to be able to opt out if we do that because I don't need a bunch of emails coming in. I am already overwhelmed in my email box, to be honest with you. Um, so I'd like, I, I appreciate having it come from one source, to be honest with you. Maybe you can make an amendment to allow your name, people who are interested to have their names taken out. That would be an amendment you could make. Why? Why would my emails come from the party, but I, you know. She's saying that she doesn't want her name on the list. Can you use the mic, please? Well, I mean, uh, Martha wants to be, it, it, Bill would need to opt out. She doesn't want a lot, a ton more emails coming from a ton more people. Uh, so she wants to be able to opt out on an email. Obviously, you know, her address and, and, and that, or if people want to send her letters, that type of stuff, that's all it would be there. But I think her, her request is if we do this, she has the ability to opt out of her emails. I mean, that, this is kind of like, that would be an amendment you could ask to make to the motion. Well, this is discussion. So right. what I'm saying is you're asking, this is like this is like any other organization sharing the whole group's information with who knows who because that's not, you're not saying that you're not going to share it with your whole group or, you know, so we have to put some parameters on this. Well, maybe that would be part of the agreement is that, you know, that's used carefully or whatever. I mean, that's not my intention to open it up for massive emails. So, I mean, maybe you're saying well, there needs to be some regulation or some limit put on it. But, oh, uh, some respect for the discussion, please. Go to the mic. David. If, if, what I would say is if a member wishes to get a list like that, they can request. The they can request Kurt provide. If a member wishes to have um, that list, 
they could simply make a request of the executive director, who I believe would provide it to you on request. Is that correct? Any other discussion? All right, all in favor of the motion, please raise your hand. The motion is to have, give everybody on the central committee an electronic version, and I assume it updated every month whenever there's a change, of who is on the central committee with their address, phone numbers, and email. Is that correct, Michael? Okay, motion's on the floor. All in favor, raise your hand. Okay. Well, 
on just a bit. Yeah, come on off, come on off. Before people leave tonight, I want to make sure that you know that the date we normally go out out here is broken. So you have to go out the date you came in. So please be careful when you go out because there will be a lot of uh, traffic that people are familiar with. Linda, you want to? Hi, my name is Wendy Lai, and uh, I lead a group called Little Hive, and we're here to January 26th at 1 o'clock in uh, Wright Library. We're going to have Adam Wallace go through our election data. We had a meeting last week to go through all the election data for five precincts. And so he'll be making a presentation on that. And uh, we'll also be discussing most likely how to um, strengthen our precincts and how to get more of a grassroots movement to make our Democratic Party stronger from, from the precinct level. So uh, Sunday, uh, Saturday, the 26th, 1 p.m., Wright Library. And, uh, my name is uh, my name is Louis Ong, and to join the meeting, we should all be uh, to join this meeting, we should all be uh, listening, being respectful. But I would say this, we have got to be united, because if we're not united, we are going to be, uh, be um, electing the Republicans, and I'm, I don't want to be divided. And, and also, I happen to be a Richard F. Less Democrat. Back in the day when we had a Democratic governor, we know that's going to happen. But we have got to be united coming next year. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. At, uh, I normally introduce our elected officials that are here. Uh, I don't think they care about being introduced tonight. So. <laughs> a motion to adjourn. So second, all in favor, so second, aye. Aye.